Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to show you how to partition a Windows XP hard drive when Windows XP is already installed. So I will be doing this for a dual boot video in the future, so let's get started. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and head to my website and go to the downloads page. Link will be in the description and you need to just download this easy use partition manager here that will take you to my Mega Drive and then just go ahead and hit download. I would be doing this on the Windows XP computer that I'm going to be using but unfortunately the uh, computer has struggled connecting to the internet ever since we got this new Wi-Fi router. So I'm going to transfer this zip file over to my Windows XP computer and then we'll get started from there. Okay so now we're on my Windows XP computer and as you can see I've downloaded the folder here from my USB drive so I'm just going to go ahead and extract this onto my desktop. Um, and this is the file that you need to run. Now this uh, program is what's going to partition our hard drive and just as a heads up if your computer has anything important on it I would recommend backing it up because in the event that it does fail uh, you will definitely need to reinstall your OS and you'll probably wind up losing everything on the computer. Fortunately for me I don't have anything important on this one. Um, so we can just go ahead and open up the partition manager and get started. So now I'm just going to go over here to the main screen. Okay, so once uh, we're in the program, you see the C drive here. This is only 75 gigabytes because this computer is super old. But you're just going to right click and hit resize or move partition. So I'm using uh, about, uh, well it shows how much you're using here. So I'm just going to leave a little extra space. And what this is going to do is unallocate a lot of this space here. So as you can see, uh, I'm using, uh, or I have given 40 gigabytes to this Windows XP partition here about, and then it'll go 35 for this other partition, which I'm going to use for Windows 7 in the future. Video coming soon on how to install Windows 7, uh, so stay tuned for that. So now you're just going to click OK, and then this, uh, you can go ahead and click Create Partition, and I like to leave it as uh, NTFS create logical and um, I believe that's all you're gonna need so click OK and then um, you just have to hit apply so this is where the process starts so if you're on a laptop make sure it has the charger plugged in um, you do not want this to fail in the middle because it will uh, corrupt all of your data if it fails so definitely have a backup so um, here we go. I will get back to you guys as soon as it is done. Okay, so a little bit of change of scenery. I uh, had to come back and finish recording this video a different day. So anyways, once the partitioner is done, you should boot up into the Windows login screen as normal. Okay, so as you can see, we're booted in here. Let's just go ahead and go to my computer and take a look at uh, these uh, partitions here. As you can see, we've got local disk C, which is uh, the drive that we partitioned, and we created local disk F, which of course it's going to read it as two separate hard drives, but in, in, indeed it is actually one hard drive that we partitioned. See, 40 gigabytes, and this one is 35 exactly as it should be. This one should be empty. Yep. So, and then this one has all our program files and Windows files. So if all is done correctly, you should not lose any data in this and you have a fully partitioned uh, Windows XP drive. So like I said, this will actually be used for a future video for a Windows 7 dual boot, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Also make sure to check the uh, links in the description, that will be all your downloads pages. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well as hit that like button. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.